First, it's interesting to note that one of the main presenters chosen by anti-Pope Francis to present his new quote encyclical on the environment was an atheist named Hans Schellenhuber. Schellenhuber has said that the world is overpopulated by at least 6 billion people. He is a promoter of world government and an earth constitution that would hold power over every government and nation. Now, we will very quickly review anti-Pope Francis's new quote encyclical. The document is made up of 246 paragraphs and a quote prayer. In paragraph number 18, Francis promotes the myth of evolution. He refers to quote biological evolution as if it's true. You can see my new video, Amazing Evidence for God. It covers the scientific evidence that refutes evolution. In number 63, anti-Pope Francis speaks of the so-called quote riches and quote wisdom and non-Catholic quote spirituality and quote religion. In number 134, he promotes dangerous genetically modified foods and praises their so-called economic benefits. In number 170, Francis promotes the myth of climate change. He says countries have a common responsibility to take action against, quote, climate change. In number 173, Francis says enforceable international agreements to protect the earth are urgently needed. He also says that global regulatory norms are needed to impose obligations and prevent unacceptable actions. Radical environmentalism has been used by socialists over the last 50 years to wipe out smaller companies. Francis's public support for this radical agenda will almost guarantee that people throughout the world will suffer and lose more money and freedoms as a consequence of unreasonable and unnecessary regulations. In number 179, he calls for putting pressure on governments to develop more rigorous regulations and controls to protect the environment. In number 211, Francis says that everyone should avoid the use of plastic and paper and reduce water consumption. Notice that he doesn't even say that people should reduce their use of plastic and paper. He speaks of avoiding it. He calls for everyone to use public transportation or carpooling. This is outrageous. He is promoting a globalist socialist agenda. In Numbers 217 and 218, anti-Pope Francis speaks of a personal conversion with creation. The only kind of conversion is a true spiritual conversion to the Catholic faith. Francis refers to creation as if it's divine. No Catholic would ever speak of an ecological conversion. He is a heretic promoting pantheistic nonsense. Francis is promoting earth worship and has actually done this many times so far during his reign as anti-Pope. Here's just one example. Francis, November 20th, 2014, addressed, quote, The earth never forgives, protect our sister earth, our mother earth, so that she does not react with destruction. Francis says that the earth never forgives, and he says that we have to be careful because the earth might respond with destruction. Francis seems to be saying that the earth will judge us in addition to God. In fact, he seems to indicate that we will have to answer to creation. This is earth worship. He's an apostate.